This is my small collection of clutch forks that I salvaged from jobs. The clutch fork is a notorious problem of, it, it's quite strong, but the problem is it pushes through, it can break and push through the, the arm. And you can see this one here, this is a really good example. We just caught this one in time. I don't know if you can see the cracks starting to appear. This has only got a few hundred meters to go before it, go, it pops all the way through. Um, the problem is, when you turn these over, there's the little ball, look, I don't, oh, I can get it out of here. It's, you can see how dry it is in there. You can see that? It's all dry, there's no, there's no lubrication. You, you, you were told to put a little bit of lithium grease on there, and, but I mean, after a couple of weeks, it's all pushed a bit. So the, the upgrade was to, was to weld the bar across here. And all it did was prolong the agony because it's, if it pushes through, then there's a little bit more reinforcement at the back. Um, you've still got the problem, though, of high friction. What my solution was, was this. Along with a kind of a talented engineer at a machine shop, and after a few attempts, we come up with this idea. And it's a, just a steel bush. You take the rivet out, take the spring out, you open the hole up to one inch, exactly one inch, and then there's a little shoulder on the bush, and inside that there's a nylon bush. And this never, ever fails. In fact, I guarantee these forks for life. Because if you get a problem with that, send it back to me, I'll give you a brand new one. Far better than this, nice and smooth. The nylon is self-lubricating, so you never have to worry about grease and oil. Uh, it's a... It, it, We've done them for years, and it's worked quite well. Now, this has just come out with this HS 2.8 with the clutch problem. But this is what we used to do. We used to weld a big, thick piece of metal across here to, just to prolong the agony. But what ha happens is when it wears through like this, then it wears through the steel, and you've got even more friction. Um, I think the idea was that by the time it's worn through this bit, then it's time for a new clutch. Um, so... By doing this, it's great. So what I'm doing this year is a bit of a special because I'm in Canada and it's kind of crazy to, to supply, get the clutch arm from the UK, put the bushing in and then send it back again. So what I'm going to do this, year, this time, I'm going to make a little kit just with the bushing in so I can sell these and people can modify their own at home because it's quite easy to do because you can't go wrong. Because when you... See the, the, the dimple where the ball usually goes in here? It's self-centering for a drill. And this is why you've got to take out the, the little rivet there and put the rivet back in. So I'll supply a bushing, um, complete with the nylon insert. But I'm not going to install it because you need to do... If, I don't know if you can see it there. There's, yeah, you, you need to just put a couple of little tack welds in just to keep it in place. Uh, the, the shoulder keeps it square, that's fine, never a problem. So I'm going to supply a couple of rivets, uh, a bushing, and then, and then I can put those in a little jiffy bag and send them anywhere in the world, and it'll be cheap. Because this is, this, the, the biggest expense of this is shipping the damn things. So um, this bit is pretty good. I never have a problem with this, but like I said, with this job we've just taken out, this HS 2.8, Something has caused this to open out, and I don't know what that is. But this design, actually, I found out was in the very early uh, SD1s and the MGBs and things like this. Um, they work fine in that for some reason, but in a Land Rover, they're all sorts of a problem. So that's just a little update on my clutch arms. Like I say, I'll guarantee the damn things for life because they work. They work very, very well. And the worst job on a Land Rover is changing the clutch or the gearbox. So if you do this, you'll, you'll never have a problem with it.